Now today we're going to be talking about the shortcut video editor and if it's any good, especially for beginners. So I suggest that you guys stick around to know the full answer. But with that said, let's get started with the video. So if you're in this video, I assume that you guys know what Shotcut Video Editor is, which is a basically free open source editing software available for anyone. Now, I have been using Shotcut for a very long time, which was more than enough time for me to formulate my ideas and opinions about this video editor. Now, quick disclaimer, this video is going to be about certain facts of Shotcut and my personal opinion and experience that I have had with Shotcut as a video editing program. Now, if you're interested in the Shotcut video editing program and what it has to offer, we first have to take a look at it. Now, we're in Shotcut right now, and as you can see, it's a pretty simple design and very user friendly. It provides some of the most basic tools that you guys can use as an entry level video editor. Over the years, I've been making so many tutorials on Shotcut, teaching other people how to improve their editing using this program. And this program has many updates and many features that just keeps on adding. But I know that Shotcut is not for everyone. So I just want to cover some of the pros and cons in my personal experience with using Shotcut Video Editor. So I wanted to start off with the pros that I believe Shotcut has based on my own personal experience on using Shotcut. Now this basically comes down to three main things, intuitive design, wide array of formats, and a good maintenance system. And if I have to throw a bonus out there, the ease of use. So first I want to start off with an intuitive design, which basically plays in into being a beginner friendly video editing software. And if we first open up Shotcut, you can see that it's pretty simple and straight to the point. You guys can probably tell where each component of your video goes and the tools are basically all self-explanatory, making it a pretty simple design and very beginner friendly, contributing to that ease of use. The second pro that I want to elaborate is the a wide array of formats. Now, if you didn't know, when exporting, Shotcut provides you with many presets and many formats that you guys can export your videos. This is a very, very good tool, especially if you guys are creating content in different kinds of platforms that require different formatting. So if you guys are into that, Shotcut is a really good option for you guys to use. So the third pro that I want to focus on is the maintenance system. Now what I mean by that is that Shotcut does a really good job of sending updates and bug fixes that they see throughout the program. Now I have seen many examples of this when I'm making a tutorial one day, the next day Shotcut already has a different version out. And it's not by any means drastic redesign of the whole system, but it's important fixes that allows the user to have a better Shotcut experience. And which I think it's very valuable, especially to many people when they want to get the best performance out of their video editor. And if you think about it, what makes an app or a software or even a website great is their maintenance system and keeping everything running smoothly. So this is a very good pro for Shotcut for sure. Now another pro that I see with Shotcut or basically a bonus pro if you will that I've seen with the system is its amazing ease of use. Now Shotcut is a very beginner friendly editing software that is basically good for all people who are beginning to understand video editing. With its intuitive system, wide array of formats and high maintenance system, this is a very good video editing software that people who are beginners to video editing can start with. And based on this big community around Shotcut, there are many tutorials to help you guys get used to Shotcut and showing you the best tips and tricks to help you edit videos more efficiently by using Shotcut. However, Shotcut is not perfect like any other video editing program. So we're going to start with our cons with Shotcut that I have seen based on my experience by using Shotcut. So these cons basically come down to its basic design and it's simply not for everyone. Now these two might be a little confusing since I already covered some of the pros by using Shotcut. So let's start off with its basic design. Now Shotcut has a really clean design and really good for beginners, but that is basically the problem right there. This video editing software can only give so much to those who are experienced video editors or people who just want to expand their knowledge on video editing. And that's one of the reasons that I really do not really use Shotcut when I'm video editing for different projects, but I still come to it as a tutorial example for those of you who are just beginning. Shotgun has many basic tools which are very simple and very helpful to those who are starting but to those who want to expand their creativity by doing more sophisticated effects cannot really use Shotcut to accomplish those effects as it only delivers an amount of video effects when using Shotcut. 
So basically this con is basically a pro to some people and a drawback to others. Those who are starting it's great but those who are more experienced or want to learn more and add more things to their projects or to your videos can be really held back by the limited amount of advanced effects that Shotcut offers. And this basically plays perfectly along with it's not for everyone. Other people have different taste or even personal preference when it comes to choosing their video editors. But like I said, Shotcut is not for everyone as others have different opinions or different preferences when it comes to video editing. Now aside from opinions and personal experience, we have to look at the technical side. While Shotcut does have many updates coming its way, there are just some systems that cannot really handle Shotcut very smoothly. And it's basically not Shotcut's fault, but it's not also the consumer's fault as it totally relies on the operating system or computer system that the video editor is handling with. Now I have seen Shotcut significantly lag, freeze, or even crash down on the program. This all comes down to the system that the computer is running or even the optimization that Shotcut may have at that moment. So it basically all depends on the system and the optimization on Shotcut in the future. Now I know that most video editors do lag, especially on the video playback, but this is a notorious problem that I've seen with Shotcut when I'm dealing with. Now other people may have different experience with that and that is totally fine as Shotcut works differently for others. But for now this is my cons for what I believe Shotcut may have in the system and hopefully it can be fixed in later updates in the future. Now I know that some might not agree with my overall review on Shotcut based on my pros and cons but that is perfectly fine as everyone is entitled to their own opinion but I do just want to reiterate that this was based on my personal experience and personal opinion of what I think about Shotcut since I've been using it for a pretty long time now. But in order to answer your question, is Shotcut worth it or should I give Shotcut a try? My answer to that is yes. I believe Shotcut is a perfect option for those of you who are just starting with video editing and don't know anything about it or just have limited experience. I believe that Shotcut is a really good option and it would help you a lot to learn what video editing is about. Now, is Shotcut perfect? No, but not most video editors are. So just give Shotcut a try and take it from there. And if you're ever stuck with Shotcut, remember that Shotcut has a big community and many tutorials based around it, which are there to help you in this video editing journey by using Shotcut. And I also got some tutorials in there just in case you guys want to check them out. But that was basically my comprehensive review on Shotcut. Now I just wanted to share my ideas and opinions based on this video editor and share it out to you guys. Now before ending this video, I suggest that you guys comment down below your personal experience and your own pros and cons down in the comments to help other people formulate a good idea of what Shotcut is and what it can offer. But that's pretty much it for this comprehensive review. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.